hello beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make sprinkles to make this sprinkle is very very easy all you just need is icing sugar and egg white that's one egg white and 200 gram of icing sugar that's all and you're gonna need some other tools like uh, a tablespoon not for any particular measurement in particular and um, yeah you're also going to need a uh, a silicon spatula very very important so that's just all you need to make this sprinkle so I'm just going to take my egg whites and put it one at a time we you wouldn't be needing the yolk for this uh, recipe you just take the egg whites only from one egg and discard the yolk you can cook the yolk you can fry it you can use it for lemon curd you know we don't waste things in delicious kitchen so after adding the first spoon then you're going to add the rest because if not it will turn into a it will turn into fondant or gum paste we don't want that so we want it to be silky and smooth now I'm going to divide this into four bowls, four small bowls. The reason for doing this is because I want to color them. Maybe I want to color them, color red, blue, orange, white, and green. So that's basically the colors you find in sprinkles. So I'm going to be needing parchment paper to make my piping bag because I do I wouldn't want to waste my piping bag for this and it's too big for this kind of uh, project so I'm going to make a piping bag out of a uh, parchment paper I'm just going to secure it with a cello tape after making it a cone shape then I'm going to pour in my white color first and um, and then the others would follow after that the color i'm using for this video is my amari color so now i have white blue green orange red all secured in my piping bag the colors are quite faint because this is just for the purpose of this video you can make your colors quite intense or darker i'm going to cut out a parchment paper and secure it with cello tape on the table so it doesn't move then i'm going to cut the tip of the piping bag and start piping really fast when you start this for the first time it's quite difficult and it's not difficult it's quite uh, difficult a little but over time you get used to it then you get to know how to pipe so fast that it wouldn't break and for it to be very smooth you need to open up the mouth properly if you don't open them if you don't open the mouth properly it would be breaking it would the line wouldn't be so so perfect so that's why you have to open the mouth properly then you you're going to just keep piping all over the board there are others or there are other types you can do uh, I wouldn't be showing the end result of the this one because I I was impatient and I left it in the oven to burn but the other one dried up on its own so these are other types that you can do with it you can make heart shape square abstract butterfly whatever you want so now i'm going to now that it's dry i'll just peel it off please note that i didn't put this into the oven i just left it to dry on its own then it became like this i'm just going to scrape it off gather it together mix the colors together so as to have that sprinkle look now my sprinkle is ready so easy foolproof a b c d it's done it's good it's perfect 
thank you guys for watching do have a lovely day subscribe to my channel and share this video bye bye for now